I'm going to be cooking with Michelle Bernstein. Give me a second. My name is Michelangelo Gonzalez. I'm a professional singer here in Miami. I'm African American and Cuban, and even though I don't look like it, trust me, I love to eat. In our culture, we love salty foods, we love spicy foods, we love oily foods, which is great. Unfortunately, sicknesses like heart disease and high blood pressure are prevalent in my family. I have a partner. Uh, we've been together for about 10 years now, and he's been on disability for as long as I've known him. He's not very well. This might be the last few years, so he still does most of the cooking. Now I want to step into that role as head chef and cook meals for him. One of my major hang-ups about healthy foods is the cost. We don't have the money to buy healthy foods. If I have $10, I have two choices, right? Either I can go to my grocery store and buy chicken and bread and eggs and rice, basically to last me the whole week, or I can go to a healthy food store and buy a celery. I really feel like I have responsibility to myself for my partner's health and to show the people in my community you can cook healthy and it could be tasty and affordable. I'm a big fan of Michelle Bernstein. I've seen her on TV a thousand and one times. I think she's one of the greatest chefs in the world. I'm ready, Michelle. I am Chef Michelle Bernstein. I won a James Beard Award in 2008 for Best Chef of the South. Recently opened as a partner this beautiful restaurant called Seagrave. I'm Latin, but my background is a little bit mixed. I like to do a little bit of everything. I'm French trained. I've worked all through Asia. I just like to think of my food as really passionate, a lot of flavor in every bite. I love fresh food that we harvest as close to here as we can. To me, healthy food and cooking means for you to really think about what you're eating before you consume it. A little more vegetable on the plate, not a whole lot of the color white, and again, flavor. Flavor is in everything. You don't have to take away flavor to eat healthy, delicious food. I'm so excited to teach Michelangelo something that he's probably eaten since birth. I grew up with arroz con pollo. It's a flavor, it's an aroma that brings me back to my mother's kitchen. And I hope I can give him a little piece of that yet turning it into something so much better for him and his partner. Hola. ¿Cómo estás, querido niño? Muy bien. You ready to cook? Yeah. I know that you love fried chicken, and I yes. know you love arroz con pollo. Yes, I do. And I know you love adobo. So I kind of combined everything into one dish for you. All right. And I'm making my adobo marinated crispy chicken, uh -huh. not fried, because right. we're going to get healthy with this. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of garlic. Oh my god, you are a beast. Oh, that's nothing. Huh? I always use fresh herbs. And you can have maybe a plant growing at your house. So this is fresh thyme. You know what? Do you want to juice these for me, sure. Michelangelo? Yeah. You know, I think this is great for when you have like a lot of frustration, you know? Like from a long day, you can just like, oh. That's what this is for. All right, so now we can go to the stove. Let's grab all our stuff. I know Michelangelo loves his fried chicken and fried foods. If he can switch from any kind of a hydrogenated oil to something like a grapeseed oil, which is one of the healthiest oils around, I think we'd come a long way today. I'm gonna go ahead and add the adobo. We're gonna mix that up a little bit. Then I'm gonna pour that in here, and that's just the marinade. This is skinless to take off, you know, the fat. Another thing that Michelangelo can do is bake the chicken instead of frying the chicken. There's so many ways of getting that crisp texture without using, you know, the white flowers. Just a little bit of a better option for so many people that are having health issues. arroz without the chicken. Well, I really wanted to give you something more healthy, so I'm yeah. giving you brown rice instead of the white rice. Okay. One great tip is the more vibrant color in the food, the healthier it is, the more vitamins it has. So go for vegetables that have incredibly bright colors, you know, the greens, the oranges, the reds. It's all really healthy and good for you, and equally as delicious, and the food will look so good too. Okay. 
Okay, no matter what color the rice is, we always toast it in oil first and just makes it coated in a nice shine. So instead of rice, this would be incredible with pasta. If you were to take even a noodle, like a spaghetti, a thin noodle, and you break it up in little pieces and throw it in here instead of the rice and toast it and get a little caramelized. Okay. So I'm adding my spices. So this is cumin, sazón completa, a little tomato paste. Okay. Do you cook with chicken broth at your house? Yes, I do. Is it low sodium? Probably not. It has to be. The one thing I hope that you take away from this yeah. is to at least buy low sodium or no sodium chicken broth. So this is chicken stock, homemade. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna let this just come to a boil. So instead of adding salt, I'm gonna add some olives and we'll see where we get. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. You have to really just taste it without seasoning it. Food is so beautiful on its own. It needs so little to manipulate it. So the last thing we're gonna add is the thing that you always add to your arroz con pollo. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. And we're gonna go over and peel some asparagus together. Yeah, let's go. All right. Moments. I want you to smell. That's yeah? it. Yeah? Alright, so I'm adding peas. Okay. Those herbs that we chopped. Oh my god, look at the color. And I placed the asparagus right on top. Alright, so I'm just gonna cover it. Should we go check out the chicken? Yeah. Woo! Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. So I think the asparagus should be cooked, David. Yes, we are definitely ready. Now we're gonna plate the food. See the little blanket? A little, little blanket of rice? That's what's going on. Oh my god, look at that. And there you have your mm. crispy arroz con pollo. I think we should be like civilized people and go into my new dining room and have this meal. Let's be civilized people. <laughs> It's a healthier version, definitely really affordable, very approachable, and comfort food at its finest. Please take a bite. I want right, to see I'm ready. what you I'm think. I'm ready. I'm ready. It is so good. I'm used to fried chicken and the oil and this. There's no mess on me. I love this. Thank you. I love this. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Catherine, I'm going to be your personal coach from Weight Watchers. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you. So what are your eating habits looking like now? I love salty food, fried chicken. I love anything in batter. So but good, I know right? that that's the kind of food. It's good, but I'm skinny now. I have a high metabolism, but that won't last forever. Obesity doesn't have to be your destiny. Families tend to be overweight together because of their family culture, right? Um, but you can change that. We have a tool with Weight Watchers Online. You can pull up three ingredients you have in your house, put them in a recipe builder, and it will populate a bunch of recipes that have those three ingredients in them. You're kidding. You can also take some of your family's favorite recipes, put that in there, and swap it out for some healthier versions of it. I'm taking you up on that. Let's talk about an action plan. This week, you're going to make two recipes from a recipe builder. You can make healthy habits now that will not just impact your life, but will also be able to impact your family. You got it. For someone like Michelangelo, who has a tendency toward high blood pressure, I talk to my patients about five lifestyle areas that will lower it. Weight loss is the most effective, decreasing salt intake, decreasing alcohol intake, increasing physical activity and exercise, and eating a plant-based diet. Eating more vegetables and fruits can actually help to lower blood pressure. And this experience is really eye-opening. I thought that healthy food made tasteless food. Made no bueno, I hate this. What I learned today, it actually can taste good. Being that I'm with Michelle Bernstein, I thought that it was gonna be something out of my league, and I realized that this is food that I can make, I can afford, and then I can do for my partner. This is a huge change for me, starting tonight.